today's video, I'm going to take this old lawnmower blade, flatten it out, cut it out, and make a draw knife out of it. Now, I don't have all the makings I need for a forge, and I've been holding off on this for a while, but with everything that's going on, I haven't been getting out much. So what I'm going to try and do, I have the fireplace going, a lot of hot ambers in there. Don't know if I'll heat it up enough, but I'm going to stick this into the fireplace, run it through the garage, take it outside, and try to flatten this out. You can see this blade has a curve in it. So the first order of business is to see if I can flatten this out. Once I flatten it out, then I'll make the design I want, I'll cut it out, and we'll take it from there. Alright, so I'm putting it into the fireplace. I'll leave it in there for a while. I'll let these logs burn down. Put another set of logs on it. That should get it hot enough for me to take it out and flatten it, but we'll see. This was the first attempt to straighten this out. Let's see if I can pick this up. You can see how curved this is on one end. This side over here has flattened out a little. I just have a little bit more to go on it. Now I want it to come up on the end, but this might not be the best blade to start with because it's cracked on this side. And what I wanted to do was to see if I could heat this enough, cut it, and bend the ends in where I have to make the handles. So this is going to be a relatively small draw knife. And you can see the thickness of the blade. I'm not sure what this came off of. It's been laying around in my scrap metal bin. What I'm going to do is cut the width of it down first. I wanted to flatten it first, then cut it. But I'm going to cut the width first because while I'm straightening it out, it's only that much more I have to flatten out if I keep it solid. Never did this before. Really not sure where to start on it, but that's the beginning of it. And again, you can see when it's on the ground here. It's pretty flat on this side. Here's where it goes up. I didn't get to bang this out because it cooled off by the time I, by the time I walked it through the garage and got it outside to start hitting it. Again, I don't have a forge. And the fireplace is cranking right now, so I figured let me take advantage of it and see what I can do. So my next step, I'm going to cut this off because I only want it about this wide. Yeah, about like this, right above this uh, hole. I don't know if I'm going to weld that in or just leave it there. I don't see what harm it does. Um, but I'm going to cut this, heat it up again, and see what I could do as far as flattening it out. Once I cut this and heat it up, once I have that done, I'll be back. Well, I came back to this draw knife. It's been a couple of months since I started this project. As a matter of fact, it was during the winter. And when I heated this lawnmower blade up, you see in the past, you can see in the uh, early part of the video that I used the fireplace to heat it up and I brought it out here and I banged this out on a piece of railroad tie that I have. To bring you up to date, these sides, the handles, are made from a bed rail. This is a lawnmower blade. This is a bed rail that I cut down. And I was looking through my garage and I had a box of these uh, wooden dowels. Uh, somebody up in Maine brought them down to me one time for firewood. And I kept a few of them to uh, have for whatever. And it just so happens I think it'll be good for this. I don't know if they're gonna crack when I do this. This wood's pretty dried out. Can you think of how many years old this is? If you don't have any dowels, you'll be able to use maybe uh, uh, a broken handle off of a shovel or something like that. But what I did is cut a slot all the way down, the whole length of it, on the table saw. I did use a table saw. Really, all I used on this was, uh, well, I did use the welder, the fireplace, uh, the material is bed, fr bed frame, lawnmower blade, a C-clamp, a Harbor Freight grinder, and these dowels, oh, and pallet wood. And what I did over here was to narrow the handle I put an edge on it. I sharpened it like I would a lawnmower blade. And I'm going to heat this up. Now I'm going to have to use a, a torch to heat it up. I'm going to heat it up. Once it's hot, I'm going to bang it down into this dowel so it'll, it'll go in a little deeper. And the bottom over here, I'm going to bend one part of this flange up, one part of it down. And that should keep it from pulling off this way. And to close the gap, 
I cut these strips of uh, I cut these strips of wood off a pallet, and I'm just gonna I'm trying to hold this camera and show you. The handle will be inside the, the groove. It'll be heated up, and I'll bang it down into the wood, let it stick a little bit. Then I'm going to put this wood in there to close this gap. I'll use some glue, and then I'll just shave it off, and there won't be any gap over there. So my next step is to heat this up, and I'm going to bend this flange. I'm not sure how well this will bend. This is that bed, bed rail and that metal. Well, if anybody worked with it, you know what I mean. So either this is going to bend or break off, and then I'm going to get the dowel. I'm going to tap it in with a hammer on this side. Once it sets, I'll put the wood in, glue it, and then I'll clean the I'll clean this up a little bit more and I'll show you the final result. Well, I'm finished with the handles. One of the dials that I tried cracked and I had to make another one. It was my last long piece too. So you can see over here, I cleaned it up somewhat. This is where the cut was to slide it in. And I put that piece of pallet wood in there and glued it. I was able to um, fold these ends out on one side, but on this side, one of them broke when I was trying to do it. And you can see this gap over here was a little too wide. I was off a little bit when I went back in on it. This is the second one I did. I did this a little better. If this should break, I'm gonna have to find a doll to uh, replace that. And this is the final product. Now I was gonna paint this, but I'm thinking of leaving it just the way it is. I'm gonna put some motor oil on it. If the video, if the camera could pick this up, here are the numbers for the uh, lawnmower blade. And the rust that was on here was pretty deep. I hit this a few times with the uh, grinding wheel. Then I used to flap this on it, trying to get it down. But it is what it is right now. I did the back end, cleaned it up somewhat. Like I said, I'm just gonna coat it with some motor oil because it is damp in my garage. Tools to have a tendency of rusting up. If it starts rusting up too much, then I'll grind it down again and uh, put a coat of paint on it other than the, the edge. And over here the handles i'm not sure how i'm going to finish them up these dowels are pretty um dried out so they'll absorb just about anything i put on them and let's see how this is going to work hey johnny you want to hold the camera for me yeah. my cameraman's with me today right over here yeah. okay i scraped a little of this already and this is just an old pallet that i work on outside it's pretty weathered Not cutting the way I thought it would. But then again, catch over here, John. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see. I might need a piece of round wood. Okay. Let's see. Let's see something over here. It's still filming, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, wasting, wasting time there. Wasting time. Okay. No, bring the whole camera. You and the camera, come here. I want to just shut the uh, filming. You hit that so it stops. Um. Okay, now let's see how this is going to work. I have this old handle here off a rake that broke off inside of a rake, and I want to taper it down to see if I could get it back into that rake. And I have my cameraman Johnny here giving me a hand. Right on there, John. You got it? Yep. Okay, let's see how this works. Okay, now I never used one of these before, so there's probably a technique that I'm just not getting right. But it's criminal. Johnny, show over here. And I really don't have this mounted all that well. It would be better in a vise. But I'm outside right now, and this is what I'm using. I don't get you. Okay. I might be chewing too much off at a time. And my angle might not be right on my blade. So this is going to take a little tweaking for me to get it right. Let's see here. Alright, so for what I want to use this for, repairing old handles, 
possibly make a new handles. I don't have a late. So whatever I do work on will be with this draw knife, a wood plane, a rasp, and a saw. I'm gonna take it's gonna take me a little getting used to this to learn how to use it properly and to get the, the most out of it. Thank you, John. And to get the most out of it. But I think uh for the first time out of the gate, it came out okay. And again, it was made with a lawnmower blade. I used bed railing for the handles. What I originally wanted to do was to cut this blade, heat it up and bend it and make the handles out of the blade. But if you recall in the beginning, the blade was chipped on the end. I was gonna make this a little smaller, but I decided to keep it on the long side. If I made it smaller, I probably could have made the handles the way I wanted to. These were some old dowels and the heating it up and burning it in, that didn't work for me. Maybe I didn't heat it hot enough or maybe this wood just wasn't right. I don't know, but I do have glue in here and we'll see how these handles hold up. This should keep the uh, handles from pulling out. Another alternative would be to drill right through the wood and the handle and put a couple of rivets in like some of your better coloring. And that's another option, another way to go. But I used what was on hand. And again, the theme of my channel is to repair, reuse, repurpose, and recycle. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, post them down below. If you haven't done so already, give it a like. And I do have a link down below if you don't have Amazon Prime and you like to give it a try for 30 days free. Hit on that link. It'll give you Amazon Prime for 30 days. You could buy things that are under $35, get the free delivery. And it does help my channel. It's an affiliate link of mine. I mention it in all my channels. I, ho I hope you get a chance to use it and enjoy it. That and along with the rest of my videos on this channel. Until next time, everyone, stay safe.